Okay, so I'm talking about scale in ZMap. You, this is a very useful object for anything to do with scaling um, different value. So, okay, so here we have, um, this is a key slider object. Do you know where that is? It's under here for some reason, I think. Here? Okay, well, here there is it's beside you. So this is the middle C. You know about this, right? So I have a um, six, let's say, oct C middle C, and I want to scale this into a different value of sound. So you can use um, scale object, and let's say I want the lowest note to be the 60, highest note input is 70, and I want to expand this into, I don't know, uh, low note. So C is going to correspond to 25, like a really low note, and 72 to scale to, I don't know, 100. I don't know what notes they are. But anyway, so uh, here we go. If I scale this, and let's see the result of it, I get the C is 25, and octave of all middle C is 100, right? So let's hear it how it sounds like and we'll connect to the mic and everything both of them so one is going um, directly and another is scaled All right so you have a, a scaled output Okay, so now that's scaling, and there's another almost identical object called ZMap. ZMap, in this case, will do exactly the same, almost. So let's try. Instead of going to scale, I'm going to send it to ZMap. And um, another one here. Okay, so send it to make note. I just disconnected the scale. Now I'm going to ZMap. Exactly the same thing. So then now why are there two of them? Now watch if I go beyond the lowest note, which is 59. Listen to what happens or watch this number. Right now at the lowest at 25. It stays there. Then scale starts from 60 to 72 as I specified. Now here. If I go beyond, stays a hundred, right? Stays on a hundred. Then stays, 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 right? However, now let's try with the scaling the old the first one. Same thing. Now if I go beyond, watch this one. Keeps scaling down. Now I can't even hear anymore. Same thing. Above here, keep scaling up. Can't, it's too high. It's a kind of a silly example, but this is the difference. So ZMap will keep the value um, mapped to the original input and will not uh, expand beyond what you said. Scale will keep going. Okay, so um, people use both of these by kind of by their own uh, um, preference, but uh, there are specific um, uh, purposes for that. So um, sometimes you see people using ZMap, sometimes more old timers use scale than the ZMap, maybe not, I don't know. So if, so why do we have to, okay, so now watch this, um, there's a very important difference, ZMAP and the scale. Let's say that I want not to have the ZMAP do exactly in the same direction of the data, but 
I want to get, get it reversed. So I want middle C to play a high note and octave middle C to play the low note. So I want to do the same here and see what happens. So let's send it to scale here. Now C is 100 because I just reversed it. Right? And as we saw, it will keep going it down, down, down. Right? Keep scaling beyond here, right? It's too high. Right? Okay, so let's try with the Z map. Okay, so the C should be 100 as we saw it in scale. Nope. He wouldn't do it. He exactly behaves as if it's this one. It's the same as this. Zmap cannot in, um, invert the output value. So if you want to invert, you have to use a scale. But then how if you want to re uh, reverse the scale, but you don't want to go beyond it, then you need a um, object called split. Split is an object to, oops, I didn't want to do that. Uh, split is an object to look for range of numbers. So I just want between 25 and 100, and I don't want my output to go beyond it. So 25 and 100, like this. So you stick this in between the scale and your output, and it will not go beyond 25. So let's go back to scale. And now we are here, right? This is the highest um, output because I said low, high, low, high, except this is reverse. So this is 100. Right? So now, origin, um, usually this will keep scaling, but I put the split in it. So you will not be, go beyond 25. See? It doesn't give you anything. It actually cuts off the numbers. So that's the difference between scale and Z map.